Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. How good is a guarantee? Now, of course, Obamacare, as people are telling us, it will be ready in January to go full steam. Of course, with their, what, with their renovations or updates to what, it, okay, wait a minute, wasn't Obamacare supposed to be up and running in September? And they're still trying to make it work in, oh, we have a week till about Halloween. Mm -hmm. I know, no, well, yeah. It'll be ready in January. We shall see. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. This is our, since we have this corner, you can do Halloween now. It's our the Halloween pumpkin. It's pumpkin. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, they've been given orders that by within the next month, they will they will have Obama, the Senate-approved immigration plan done. If they do, they're going to have Republicans to get their butt thrown out because. Well, the big business is demanding, and unions are demanding. Well, the Republicans don't represent big business in the unions. They also, if this is an amnesty thing, if anybody, Rubio has backed off on it now, and he was one of those guys that supported the Senate, because it's dawned on Rubio, the president lies. He has no intentions of enforcing anything, and no intentions, I mean, okay, this is how, how much that they are um, getting ready to get rid of McCain and, um, and, and, and Graham, there seems to be some information floating around about their sexual preferences now from the NSA. What? Yeah. And uh, he said it's obviously not true because McCain was a major playboy and Graham's been married a long time, but with that now starting to spread around, you know, there's no chance that, that Graham's even going to get a nomination with that floating around in his state, so. Well, NSA is also has the goods of world le <coughs> leaders in their families, as do the world leaders have on Obama. Yeah, the Obama. <coughs> and uh, I would simply guarantee that the Soviets basically have their version because the Soviets check on everybody in their own country. So you know they know what Obama's doing. The problem is, okay, Herbie Daddy says we're going to go back to the the thing. I worked on a dirty dozen as a German soldier. I was there on the set. Uh, and when Lee Marvin and Charles Bronson were doing a scene that I always quote, that Charles Bronson said, yeah, but what I did was right. And then Lee Marvin says, yes, but you got caught. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. Obama got caught. The others didn't. So he's, he's taken a fallout from an organization that over exceeded its authority. Well, and the problem is that they're releasing the information. Oh, I mean, this guy, okay, I'm watching a thing on... Um, Actually, they're talking now about the, the uh, de diplomatic debacle because they're trying to get themselves, um, they said the American ambassador has been ordered to Merkel's, Mer Merkel's presidential residence and I'm assuming, assuming they're going to throw his ass out of the country and uh, because they didn't believe a single thing that Obama said to Merkel. They wouldn't call the ambassador there if they weren't going to toss somebody out. Ooh. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Hot and angry U.S. climate change could increase conflict. Uh, no, because it's just it's good normal. Okay, it's called normal weather. They're trying to say, well, we're going to have more wars because of global warming. Well, unfortunately, it's cold as hell all over this world. We're, in, we're moving towards another ice age. Well, actually, we never, the last ice age we were coming out of, which is why the weather was so nice, it looks like we're heading into another little ice age, and there they are right now. That Merkel has told the ambassador, it's hard to imagine us doing anything in concert with a country that basically can't tell the truth about anything. And so that's, uh, yeah, they said, uh, that they said German officials' displeasure with U.S. usually handled at a lower level. She's handling it personally, which means Obama has just lost another ally. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. another one. And Democrats are demanding increases in spending to save the nation. I know. I, I, I'm looking at this thing like, well, we have bipartisan support in the, in the House and the Senate to take all of these unfair advantages away. You know, we're going to close the loopholes. We're going to take the oil tax away. We're going to take the farm tax, we're going to take the farm, uh, yes, they we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to, we're going to raise a hundred and ninety billion dollars in new revenue by closing all these tax holes that are unfairly giving business advantages. Well, they're there so you can deal with them in other countries on an equal level. 
and the Democrats always want to close the tax loopholes. And then here, oh, what did Herbie Gay say? There's not one single mention, though, of cutting any spending. None. We're going to close the tax loopholes, and then we can put all the money back in the budget that the Republicans and George Bush took out over sequester, which was created by the Democrats. And U.S. Congress to consider law against patent trolls. Uh, yeah, I mean, we were basically, we, we sat on a thing where a guy the other day said, don't pay any attention to these things, don't pay any attention to that, don't worry about it. And then the very next day they had a thing on patent trolls mm -hmm. on one of the things. Uh, yeah, basically right there. Uh, German Merkel said spying, is the, spying they, they named the president as responsible. I'm watching the news going on right now. The Germans have blown their tops, the French have blown it. They said there's no more than, no less than 20 major powers in the country that are basically prepared to toss our ambassadors out of their countries now. I think it's Obama bad. really pushed it too far. Uh-huh. Um, Cal um, California cop who pepper sprayed student protesters awarded $38,000. Oh, yeah. He got, um, he basically, they tried to get him, the protesters that got pepper sprayed tried to get him fired. They settled out of court with him because he was suing them. They broke the law. They got arrested and he pepper. They said, well, it was an abuse of power. They broke the law and they got, instead of shooting him, he pepper sprayed him and then talked. Because what he did was he just went down the line. They were refusing to obey the order, so he just sprayed him. So they settled out of court rather than to go to court and lose everything they had. Why? I don't understand why they thought they had a case. Because they're Democrats. Oh. And remember, this is California, and they thought, well, we're going to have a uh, problem. Was is they were, you know, they were where there were the governor of the state told them not to be. They did it anyway, and then they paid the problem, 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 so. And Detroit bankruptcy trial, City says they got a lot of no in negotiation tries. You know, the people that are demanding, well, we want full payment for everything, the unions. We want this, we want that. And unfortunately, the way it works is the Supreme Court is always favored. Okay, they didn't intervene in Obama's bankruptcies. This is not Obama's bankruptcy this time. The city has lost two-thirds of the population of the city, and they have no base to pay the bills now, none. So this, you know, you know, the courts are not going to get all of these unions and all these businesses all the money that they're demanding. And NSA chief admits testing U.S. cell phone tracking. Yeah, these guys basically grabbed everybody's... If you had an address book on your computer or, or on your cell phone, they now have it in their uh, possession. But, you know, it was, that, it, was, it was an inadvertent error. It shouldn't have happened. Every day you find, because what happens is, okay, the other night they did a thing on, on, on NCIS uh, showing, well, the, the, the material was in the trigabytes. We had to deliver it physically. Um, load and just loaded trigabytes of information to the so-called cloud, which is nothing but a server. And he just did it with off the federal things, which is like a flash. And they sent it to somewhere all over the world in little things. And basically, he just goes to this, goes to wherever he's got all these things parked, takes information out, gives it to the press, and then Obama just gets screwed more and more with every day. And House passes $8.2 billion water projects bill. Yeah, uh, pork projects all over the country for people that voted to uh, go along with the president. I mean, Obama paid off big time. Well, they better be getting something for what? Yeah, but it's costing them all their jobs. And, they're, and uh, all, here's the trick is, they can't come up with money now because if one of them warned it, he said if McConnell or Baynard has one extra dime to spend, we're going to know it, we're going to put them behind bars. Oh. So whatever they got paid off, they're never going to get to use. And calls for Redskins name change grow louder. No, they're not. They're only among Democrats. Now, 90% of the Indian organization... Okay, these guys out there that are grumping about it look about as much like an Indian that I am. I mean, they, you know, they basically, they're like, I know a person basically, you know, that basically gave him his own Indian name, which is not an Indian. Well, I grew up around Indians. It doesn't work that way. My mommy was an Indian. My grandmommy on two sides of my family were Indian. My grandfathers were Indians. I I am, I'm listed by the United States government, not as a Caucasian, but as an Indian, folks, and they look less Indian than I do, and they're complaining about things. You don't look Indian. I know. And a Monty bubble is in for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh. 
that it, it helps to actually look like the race that you're protesting for 